<laughs> Hello, people. This is NPC Porky, and we're back to Stalgi, the Berlin Wall. And today I'm gonna play as du -du 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 -du. Afghanistan. We're authoritarian. Uh, author uh, Afghanistan has a lot of achievements on this game. But you're trying to do the National Reconciliation Achievement. That requires us to reform, uh, to be soft towards the opposition, and do some stuff, uh, help the socialist camp, and that in the end will allow us to get that achievement. Uh, this video I'm making it in order to show you how to get it. So uh, Afghanistan works differently from other countries in Ostalgi. Uh, of course, Afghanistan in 19, uh, 1989 is at civil war. No, the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan is in a war against the Mujahideen, the conservative opposition. Well, I guess that they were not all conservative, but most of them, yeah. The, the Islamists. You know, there was a, a famous movie about it, Rambo 3, <laughs> dedicated to the brave freedom fighters, freedom-loving fighters of Afghanistan, the Mujahideen. But yeah, basically, when you go to the, the economy screen, we have the north, the west capital, Kabul, of course, but we don't have the east and the south. As you can see, I'm trying to click on it, but nothing happens yet, because it's occupied by the opposition. Uh, if you go to the view tab, in situations, and this is different, of course, from other nations. You can see what is under control and what is not under our control. So you control 60% of Afghanistan. So as you can see, East South lost. That means that it's in the end of the opposition, of the opposition, and this is the effects of the opposition controlling some regions, as you can see. Uh, everything is stable, of course, because we are not currently uh, under conflict. But at a certain point, at the beginning of, each, of a certain month, the opposition will attack. Uh, this is offensive, offensive. You can click in here in order to try to take a region. In order to take a region, you need, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about... Yeah, nine money and nine agents. Uh, agents are not a problem with Afghanistan, mostly because of this um, building, the general staff. You know, weekly we have 0 0.5 agent network, agent network power. That's good, and I believe every four months, uh, the war suspect sends us help, sends us, sends us help in agents and money. Uh, I'll show you later how do you attack in this game to re retake a region. Uh, I'm going to try to take the south the south first along the Pakistani border. But yeah, sometimes the opposition will attack and I'm gonna have to send reinforcements. It will appear in your... it will say reinforcements. Uh, the best option is right after the opposition starts attacking you go to reinforcements and click two times. Uh, in order to defeat the opposition right away, you, you need um, six agents and six money. Is it three agents or four agents? No, I'm misremembering. Uh, whatever. Uh, before you start, you should click on politics and change your ministers. This guy sucks, shark. You want Kishtmand. No. Uh, conductor of industrialization and modernization. This means he reduces the the time of of research speed of our research. Yeah. Now we have Shakmani. He sucks as well. We're gonna pick Vantajar. Now ready to fight to, for the homeland to the last drop of, drop of blood. He increases agent power, agent growth. That is. Uh, after that. You want to go to economy, you want to go to the north, uh, sorry, the west, and stop this building, the army base. It lowers the Salgi and increases the agent networks, but the problem is, is 
uh, every week you lose 0 0.2 on your budget that d that doesn't appear to be a lot but for for Afghanistan it is a lot so you really need to stop this army base from working right in the beginning of the game this will help us a lot with our finances uh, after that you want to go to science and start researching the development of militia reform you want to research this the you know the top re, uh, top science you know, regarding agent networks regarding security and so on because once we reach the final one we'll get an event to help the socialist camp uh, this will help us in reaching the national reconciliation achievement so yeah we started uh, researching this one and after that also uh, of course we're doing all of this before we start the game we want to go to India and click on asylum then you're going to go to Korea the DPRK North Korea and click on licenses this will give us free money and click on analysts then after that you want to go to Libya no, click support then click recognize then click interfere then click on channel this is somehow uh, improve our party unity and lower nostalgia and will also increase our budget because now we have to do with Libya so yeah I believe that is all and after that you wanna start uh, moving but actually no one more thing now do we have some money go to politics and move your freedom to limited freedoms because you're gonna have to reform in order to get uh, you know with the group you know with the opposition's good graces so after all of that you can start so this is the the no this thing uh, do not sign if you sign you it will cost money so do not sign this one fuck it let's move along see we're earning 0 0.5 money each week this is very good as Afghanistan so after that we have a uh, first event Typhon I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read about it if you want to read just stop the video but in this uh, event you want to persuade the Soviet leadership to, c to cancel the operation in order to avoid casualties no because of course peace on Afghan soil is a prior priority for us so let's move on okay once we have five money immediately you stop you go to economy and you build a research center we want to we want, we want to constantly build research centers as soon as possible this will decrease of course research time we need to, uh, we need to get to advancement of foreign agent networks as soon as possible Okay, let's liberalize a little bit. It's February. We have another event. Troop withdrawal in this one. Because we want to keep our current leader, uh, Najibullah, I think it, that, that's his name. Yes, Najibullah. As we want to keep him as leader of Afghanistan. Let's, of course, thank the Soviet people in fraternal, fraternal existence to Afghanistan. Choose that option. This will give us some money. So yeah, this will happen once in a while. The rebels are attacking us. Yeah, this is what I, ooh, the event when you get attacked. I don't think this makes any difference. I think the best option is to click direct 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 government forces to f uh, send direct government forces to fight the rebels. We're gonna do that. After that, stop immediately. And now, as I told you before, see we have reinforcements. Send reinforcements. To the Afghan army. This is in order to stop the 
attack against the west, the western region, which is under our control. Uh, one, every time we send reinforcements, we get 25, uh, plus 25% control. So when you click in Afghanistan, uh, of course, actually it's not f three agents or four agents, it's five agents you need. So yeah, once I when I click once, when we go back to situations, now we have 70, 75%. So you see, every time you send reinforcements, you gain 25% control. Uh, when we attack, when uh, in the future, when we attack a region, we only start with 25% of that region, which we are attacking, so we need to send reinforce reinforcements three times, which means 15 money, uh, sorry, not 15, 9 money and 15 agents. So yeah, now 100% the West, so that means the attack will stop and this symbol will disappear. Now, I'm gonna stop because this, this is very important. Every month in 1989, save save the reason why is because there are certain months which the opposition may or may not attack and if they attack on those specific months and you will see that you better you better that's the reason why you, it's best you save every month because it's best they do not attack yeah you you have to save scum you need to exploit uh, this in the game, you have to save scum because the less the the opposition attacks, the better. So we have five money again. So let's build another research center or institute, whatever. I'm not gonna liberalize for now. We're kind of low on cash. So, yeah, this doesn't matter, it just sends wishes, whatever. Don't pick the, do the, do the, the last option. So let's continue. <coughs> of course, let's save, new month. We have enough money, let's liberalize a little bit. Okay, it's that recurrent event for, for every nation regarding Bur uh, Myanmar, send ambassadors, do that, and you have trade with Myanmar, this will help with our con economy. So you can do, of course, the mental May, you can do speech, so let's do this one in order to reduce Westalgia. Let's move on. Let's save. Of course, new month. No, that's save scum thingy I told you about. Okay, nice. We have money at Angels from the Warsaw Pact. So this is an event regarding China, you know, Tiananmen Square, and this one you want to speak in defense of the Chinese government. And this you want to do because this will allow us to click on China and trade, which of course will help us with the finances. So the last research, um, the first, sorry, the first uh, science research on the top science regarding agents is over, so let's immediately go to reinforcement of the Ministry of State Security. Uh, for now we're not going to attack, uh, at least in this year, 1989, not going to attack the opposition. And we have some money, so... We have more than five money, so we can build another research institute. And let's liberalize a little bit. Uh, so uh, nice didn't 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 attack in the month of August. Sometimes the opposition does. Uh, sorry, guys, just a moment, please.
I'm back, sorry for that. So let's continue. An expected phone call. Uh, but you saved? Yes, we saved. Did we liberalize? Yes. Mm, yeah, move on. Uh, Japan, doesn't matter, we can do anything. Um, I'm going to discovery in this one. It's best to maybe it's time for reforms because this will increase relations with the USSR, which is a good thing. So the opposition might attack right now, which is not good, in the month of uh, sorry August. Yeah. So we're not going to spend on anything. Let's see. They didn't attack. This is good. This is very good. Uh, Iran, we can't do anything. Uh, of course, I Afghanistan being a weak nation in the civil war, it cannot in intervene on uh, the socialist bloc in the same way other countries in the game can. Event in Vietnam, New Cambodia, we can do nothing, so just do nothing. Don't support withdrawal. This will weaken the socialist camp even more. So event, we have something regarding Poland. In this one we can intervene. The, and of course, choose the last one. Support the Polish communists diplomatically and financially. Do that. Of course, being the month of August, let's save. The opposition might attack next month, but I believe we're going to get help from the socialist camp. That's a good thing. Oh, actually, they didn't attack. Wow, this is work going working quite well for me. So, this is research. Now we're going for advancement of foreign agent networks. After we're finished with this, we'll get to the, an event, an important event. And if things go well, if you save scam as, as I did, if now you have a, a consider considerable amount of money, being now the month of September, you want to click on India, and uh, this is also important. And of course, you have ten more than ten agents. <laughs> Good enough. You want to click on provocation, provoke a new Indo-Pakistan war. This will cause problems with Pakistan, and the fact that of course Pakistan is an arbor for Mujahideen fighters, for rebels. So yeah, let's provocate a new war. This costs a lot of money, some agents, but it's necessary. After that you get an event, the Indo-Pakistani conflict, and in this case, you want to choose the last one. Every In every way, sabotage negotiations. This is important for the, achie important, important for the achievement. So yeah, now they're both at war, with, as you can see with this little symbol. Uh, let's save again. I'm not sure if they're going to attack the opposition, that is. Yep, the opposition is attacking. This is not good, not good at all. I'm gonna try to go back to see if they don't attack. Uh, they probably will again. Yeah, I think they attack regardless. Hmm. Yeah, this this is unfortunately this is a problem with Afghanistan. Yeah, I think we cannot avoid it, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to wait for free money. Oh. Yeah, this one, the end of the Hungarian People's Republic. It's better you support the Marxists. Uh, don't, don't, don't uh, choose this one because it's, this will screw, screw the camp, socialist camp stability. Choose the second one. It costs money, but we have to do it. Hmm. We might lose a region to the uh, rebels. You might. 
Let's see how the situation is. 36%. Oh god. Hey, who knows? We are not getting help from the social scam. This is not good. So it's the month of... Yeah, November. That's the speech against Vesalgia. How's the situation? Not good. We're almost l losing it. So yeah, let's send reinforcements. Oh, the situation not good. Thirty-three percent. Let's see if we get help the next month. Let's see. Let's see. We do get nice. Uh, Professor Brezhnev can't do anything. So yeah, we have some help. Um, this will not stop the attack completely, but it will halt them for a while. So now we have 69% <laughs> magic number. New event. Oh yeah, this is regarding the, of course, the the last um, research thingy on the top research line. So conservative revolution. This is regarding the Warsaw Pact, of course. You wanna, if you want to read, uh, sorry, regarding the USSR. If you want to read, stop the video. But what you want to do is the top option: secretly contact conservative politicians in the socialist camp and form a coalition. So yeah, this kind of helped the socialist camp stability, kinda. So you might get another uh, help again in the next year. Let's see. Mm, should I start research right now? No, I'm gonna keep some money. So yeah, even I, as you can see, I'm get I'm getting difficulty uh, with this difficulties with this. So yeah, new year we go we get help, and we might be able to stop them. We might. Uh, let's see reinforcements. Yes, reinforcements. I'm gonna risk it, yeah. Kill them as soon as possible, yeah. So this will stop the attack against the West. This is not easy, as you can see, even for me, someone with hundreds of arrows in this game. So yeah, let's save again. I will be saving. Just to be sure. Uh, Jakov's reply, if your party unity is consider considerably high, do it. Support the si decisive a actions of Jakov. Yeah, it's the best choice for the socialist camp. It is their struggle, Nicaragua, the Sandinistas, you can't do anything because of Af you're Afghanistan, so ignore. We have a new event. Oh, it's regarding the radicals in a party, the Kalk faction. Again, st stop the video if you want to read. And this one, you want to arrest, uh, arrest, and throw in information about Tanai's cooperation with the opposition. Tanai was one of the Kalk generals, I believe. Said so this lowered our party unity, but it's it's the choice we must have. Must uh, the choice you must pick? Uh, party unity is bad, but no problems with that. It will go back up, as you can see. Let's save again. Oof. Okay, they didn't attack. Good. I'm expecting to have more money in order to attack soon. Uh, this event, Velvet Change. I'm going to choose the middle option. Show him the materials and persuade him to keep his post. So let's start researching some stuff for the budget. Let's do construction of industry. 
the best option is to go for after you get this after you're done with this research at the top it's best to pick the options which give you increase your budget and allow you to build factories yeah this one sorry this one construction of industry so if at in Germany in this one you want to choose the support uh, the party of Germany yeah the ruling party in the fight against Perestroika yeah this will decrease our party unity substantially unfortunately so let's liberalize a little bit and see if this helps it doesn't help fuck me dude yeah we have to go back <laughs> stick with me people stick with me No, what? Let's not support uh, East Germany because we already got the the last research thingy. So you might not need to support them because that decreases the unity of the party. So yeah, show me the materials, right? After that, we do not care. Yeah that didn't decrease the unity of the party so sorry for that in that event do not help this Germany against Perestroika just do not help because the unity of the party is screwy at this point if we don't get attacked uh, next month I think I'm gonna get the initiative and attack the opposition The south, the south region. Let's see. Nope, they haven't attacked, so let's do an offensive. After you click offensive, of course, you get the best defense is an attack event, and you choose the region which you want to attack. And we're going for uh, the south. No, not the south, sorry, the east. Fight the rebels back to the border of Pakistan, go east. Allies on our side will recapture the waste from the Pakistani yoke. Okay. So we're gonna click on Afghanistan. Click reinforcements. We have, n of course, we have nine money, and or to take a region, you need in, in total um, nine money and fifteen agents. We have fifteen agents. Oh shit! We actually don't have it. Fuck. Let's see. Okay, how is the situation? 59. So, 76. Well, as long as we're attacking them, they're not attacking us. To Yemen, we can't do anything. So congratulate. Let's do speech. So construction of industry is over. After that, you want to go to continue agrarian reform, in order to increase the unity of the party. Okay, this event is important, the second congress of the PDPA. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to read it, yeah, because it's an important uh, event. As you know, the other day, the second congress of the People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan should be held. In the eyes of, s of, the, of a significant part of the masses, our party has a very bad reputation, so Mujahideen leaders call it completely pro-Kremlin, and the presidential regime is imposed from without. If you completely get rid of the dark past of our party and move on to a full-fledged multi-party system, then perhaps we can come to a compromise with the moderate part of the opposition. However, this event is unlikely to please the cult wing of, the, of our party, which requires, which requires only moderate Islamic reforms within the framework of socialism. What are we going to do, President? 
of course, we're going for the last choice: reform the PDPA and go to negotiations with the moderate opposition. With the moderate opposition. So, as the second Congress of the party, the PDPA changed its theoretical base, adapted the new manifesto, and changed its name to Vatan, homeland. A new charter was adopted, which declared the party's refusal of a long leadership role in Afghan society, of the ide ideology of Marxism-Leninism, and the slogan of building socialism. The Southern Council of Vatan was headed by Najibullah, who declared to the Congress that at the first stage after the invasion, the USSR pursued its own goals to the detriment of Afghanistan, and its military presence was a sad chapter in the history of the party. He called the day the Soviet troops withdrawn. And he, of course, he called the day the Soviet troops withdrawn the day of national liberation. Yes, yeah, some of the English in his tests are not very good, unfortunately. Uh, Najibullah also called on the opposition to negotiate to bring peace to the Afghan soil, and some opposition leaders, under pressure from officers, had to make concessions. Already in October 1990, negotiations should be held between the government and part of the opposition. The spiritual leader of the Pashtuns, uh, Sibgatullah Mujadedi, and the chairman of the Islamic Society of Afghanistan, Burhanuddin Rabani, the remaining opposition leaders, in return, categorically refused to negotiate, negotiate citing the pro-Soviet nature of the Najibullah's regime. The peace in our homeland is closer than ever. Uh, Romania, an S up to the, uh, an ace up the sleeve. In this one, just congratulates Sosescu, the new president. <laughs> yeah. So we have a lot. Situation 36 percent. We don't have to. Uh, to uh, um, sorry, we still don't have 15 agents. God damn it! No, let's reactivate this one for just for a while to see if it fucking helps. So how's the situation? 28. Let's attack once. Fifty-three percent. Let's stack again. Uh, seventy-eight percent. Oh, almost there. Do you have it? No. Oh, god damn it! This is not easy. What sucks is that the opposition regains a lot of strength very fast, unlike us. You know what, let's keep attacking because eventually the socialist camp will send us help. 80%. Research is almost finished. In an event, many a little makes a mickle. Oh, this is important. Or, of course, stop if you want to read. In this event, you want to choose the first one. Call on Warsaw Pact countries for help. And they will accept. So, this guy sends blah blah blah, this guy sends blah blah blah. As you can see, you can read, you can stop and read. So now we have 17 money and 11 agents. And I believe this means... Yep. You can attack twice, 97, once, and yep. And now we have the East. Yes, East under our control. And if we go to Economy, now we have the East, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to build another research. Institute, to uh, increase that. That will be, by the way, the last one I'll build. No, the faster we research all science, the better. So I have no event in Afghanistan. Uh, sorry, Iraq. Let's join the sections against Saddam Hussein for good relations with the USSR. Uh, sorry, I haven't been saving a lot, but we have another event in Afghanistan. Prisoners uprising, 
again stop if you want to read if you want to read the text but in this one in order to get our national reconciliation policy going forward we want to choose the second one direct militia and begin the process of prisoner ex exchange so yeah origin strength is not that good unfortunately so yeah let's save well actually I have money we should probably liberalize more not economy because that will screw the standards of living yeah situation is kind of stable now we can liberalize more our finances finances are more stable Ooh. actually you have low diplomatic reputation I believe this allows us to get traded Syria yeah recognize Syria, Syria and Lebanon net then go to active trade phase nice another country to trade more money for us look we have another event in Afghanistan oh this is because we finished the uh, one of the science science research thingies sorry sorry for my bad English so yeah land reform in this one you want to <laughs> obviously because we're reforming uh, review the results and start the return of private property and this will give us some money and some of us to state capitalism this is kind of screw our standard of living a little bit but it's for the better for national national reconciliation. Now, next after that, uh, well, this will actually improve. Uh, this will give us one farm. This will actually improve a little bit our standard of living. So let's go for agricultural development. Yep. Yeah, as you can see, it it felt the standard standards of living because of state capitalism oh, it's, re it's regrowing a little bit uh, as you can see now we're I'll go back to that so this is also an important event a land to the peasants and factories to the workers sanctions to Pakistan important event for the achievement again if you want to read stop the video uh, but in this one the option you want to pick is not this one the top one or the last one is the middle one with the support of the Soviet Union put pressure on Pakistan and persuade it to resume negotiations and we'll do that yeah J Pakistan agreed so yeah you're gonna have some uh, we're yeah, gonna do some agreements soon with Pakistan uh, it'll be a future event so something else in Yugoslavia and this just provide humanitarian aid to the population kind of will that will kind of help the socialist camp mm. let's not spend agents for money with Yugoslavia yeah so as you can see now we're green in our government tab because we're now reform reformist no we have reformism Qatarism. Uh, let's actually move towards regulated market because as, as early if we move earlier as possible to it the better for our standard of living uh, we have a lot of money but I'm not attacking because we don't have enough agents uh, you don't have to build anything to be honest Come on, give me 15 agents. So, a new event. Yeah, that's this is negotiations with Pakistan. If you and in order to succeed, you want to pick the first one, cooperate to the moderate position, and accept their demands. Oh no, sorry, this is not regarding Pakistan. It's something else. Sorry, this is regarding the national reconciliation policy of Najibullah. So, cooperate to the mother position and accept their, demand, their demands. So, yeah, today the conference between the government of Afghanistan and the Islamic parties, or the Mujahideen, ended in success. 
the opposition's demands for parliamentary elections with the par par uh, sorry, participation of all parties to the conflict have been met and must pass soon. Our people are happy about the end of the war, but will Islamic fundamentalists cooperate with the anti-people regime? In any case, we have taken a huge step towards peace on Afghan soil, and we have already received congratulations on this from Moscow. Uh, yeah, now we have elections, but of course, because we have a lot of support of the people, we are not going to intervene or s send civil servants that costs money. We're going to wait for the results. And yeah, we wanted the devastating, devastating results because of, the, or because of our big support of the people. Yeah, 354 seats out of 400. Yeah, now you have other parties. So let's reform towards market, regulated market. Uh, let's save. Yeah, things are now more stable. Uh, almost 15 agents. Let's see if they don't... You know what, fuck it. We're going to attack. We're going to attack and take the south. And we'll retake all the country. So, offensive. So, destroy the rebellious south. The only thing you can do, if you click this, you just go back and we revert on our decision to attack. But no, we're going to destroy the rebellious south. Under the leadership, leadership of the popular party, destroy the enemy forces in the south. So, yeah. One, two, three. What? What? How? We had, what? What? We had 15 agents. What happened? What? Was this because of the event? Uh, research is finished. I have no idea what happened, guys. Um, uh, what's this do? This gives us a new factory, this this will help with our, with our finances, so go for the course on industrialization. So it's the month of November, let's do speech against Rosalgia. Let's liberalize more. Okay, attack. 86. Okay, once we get help from the Warsaw Pact, we'll finish the op with the opposition. We'll finish the civil war, that is. Yep, we have help. So we have new event, Homeland of Terrorism. It's regarding the help of Pakistan to the Mujahideen. And in this event, you want to choose put pressure on Pakistan to respect the agreement. I don't know what this does. I don't know if this works, to be honest. But yeah, this is the choice you must pick. Put pressure on, Afghan on Pakistan. And yeah, they have accepted. The new government of Nawaz Sharif, which is trying to curtail the supply of arms to the opposition due to economic problems within the country, has agreed with Afghan demands and recognized that the current leadership of Afghanistan is doing everything possible to achieve peace on Afghan soil as part of a national reconciliation policy. The United States and Pakistan also congratulated us on the holding of democratic elections and announced the curtailment of the opposition support program. The world in our homeland is closer than ever. What? I, s I suppose they meant peace. The peace in our homeland is closer than ever. That was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, so let's attack once again. 90. And let's attack again. And... Boom! Yep. Yeah. South is now ours. Now if we go to situations... Boom! 100%. We have 100% control over Afghanistan. And it has no negative effects on us. Or positive. So let's continue. Let's liberalize again. Well, now that we can, let's send some finance financial help to to Yugoslavia
Yeah, it appears the opposition is not attacking. I believe they're they're finished, basically. So yeah, by reaching 1991, you can breathe with relief because now the opposition is crushed. So course on industrialization is industrialization is over. No, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go for industrial society because of the budget increase. Let's liberalize more. In order to get our a blessed to get a blessed result, which you'll see soon. Uh, parade the sovereignties. You can can do anything, nothing here. So yeah. Another event on Afga Afghanistan, exiled king. So yeah, this is regarding the former king of Afghanistan he wants to come back and wants to, us to legalize a party of monarchists. So yeah, in order to continue our national reconciliation policy, let's allow the return of the king and legalize the what National Liberation Front of Afghanistan. Yeah. So the government of Afghanistan allowed Zahir Shah to return to his homeland and provided all security guarantees. Guarantees. It was also promised to return the royal property and the Tajbek Palace in which in which which sorry uh, Afizullah Amin was killed in 1979. The former monarch of Afghanistan accepted our proposal, and already at the beginning of this month, the royal family returned from Ka Rome to Kabul. Afghan President Najibullah held an official meeting with the king and congratulated, congratulated him on his return to his homeland. President Najibullah also announced the legalization of the monarchist party, Afghan National Liberation Front, which is shared by Zahir Shah, who called on the loyal king's opposition to negotiate with the current government, government and abandon the guerrilla war for peace throughout Afghanistan. As a result, more and more loyal nationalists leave the opposition camps and go over to the side of the Afghan army, and swear allegiance to the king. What? No way, we're still a republic. Shut up. Swear allegiance to the republic, not to the king. Sorry, drinking a little bit of water. So yeah, this event reduction. Uh, actually... You want to pick change orientation to the world countries because this will increase our liberalization towards regulated markets. And it will also give us, I believe, a trade with Egypt. Yeah, and Iran as well. And someone else? No, not really. Oh, also because we are diplomatic uh, reputation is lowering because we're liberalizing. Uh, we can actually now have trade with France and trade with... The U.S. Friendship with the U.S. This will help our economy. So let's liberalize more. Down goes the standard standards of living, because now we're, we have a regulated market. We're a social democracy, a centrist social democracy. How blessed. Uh, this this one, I believe, it, this, this one wasn't legalized before. This is the, the, the monarchist party. But yeah. Uh... already liberalized. Now in order to increase our standard of living, uh, for now we're just gonna do the obvious which is to build agricultural establishments because that increases our standard of living. So I'm gonna do that as much as possible until the end of the game. Uh, we now, we don't, now we don't need to constantly save, it's irrelevant. The opposition is crushed, so... Uh, event, tie question... Uh, let's support Shonavan to get trade with Thailand. Oh, by the way, we have less than 50 diplomatic reputation. We can have trade with Cambodia as well. Okay, event... Uh, stakes are best. We can do shit, yeah. Event in Iraq. We can also we can't also do shit, so not our business. 
Iraq's third way. <laughs> I guess you people know what that means, the third way. The third. So yeah, more agricultural establishments. Liberalized? No. Let's go towards limited uh, to introduction of pluralism. So, industrial society is researched. Now let's move to introduction of mechanization. This will help our raising our standard of living, which is increasing increasing really fast. 2.1 per week. That's a lot. Quite a lot. Let's keep liberalizing. Okay, let's improve the West so we can build more stuff. Okay, it's mail, let's do speech against nostalgia. Even though it's not just it's not pretty much a problem right now. Let's build more farms. An right, event, arm turn, we can do shit, so yeah, do not interfere. Yeah, now the socialist camp is gonna start falling, which is irrelevant for us, and we cannot intervene in most of this th stuff. And it's just ignore them. We cannot help them or trade with them at this point. Hmm, can we get investments from France at least? Nope. Can interfere. Wait. Uh, and yes, you can do an unspoken agreement on which you'll support with Madanov. Yeah, do that. You can actually send help. But yeah, we don't have to. Let's lose some agents away. No, we got some former Stasi agents. Polish question. Deal with themselves. Now we are liberal. Afghanistan is liberal. How blessed. Uh, actually, let's liberalize towards free parties. Yeah, thanks to that, now we have national elections again. We have n almost 100% support, so let's just wait for the results again. Uh, not so much seats at this point, but again, a devastating result. Yeah, Mongolia can do shit. And this just that pick the last worst option. The PDS will unite with the green. Whatever. So we actually uh, finished all the science science things we could research. So let's actually stop the research institutes from working. Because it it lowers our budget. Increase. So yeah, standard of living is decent. Let's build another agricultural establishment. We libs now. Roman pact. Ignore it. We're still social democracy. Can we move towards liberalism? Come on. Okay, let's build stuff. End of the war. Oh, this is also an important event for the achievement. So let's read it. 
Thanks to the pragmatic work of the government, government and the enthusiasm of the working people of Afghanistan, the situation in Afghanistan is gradually stabilizing, and peaceful life is returning to cities and villages. The civil war is behind. However, local centers of the opposition continue to partisan in remote mountain, mountainous areas, sometimes making sorties and brutally cracking down on civilians. Now that the Mujahideen are most vulnerable, and deprived of arms supplies from Pakistan, it is time to deliver a decisive blow to the opposition and put an end to this dark period of our history. However, we can, under certain conditions, agree with the Mujahideen and offer them freedom in exchange for their leaders. Or will we use the fragmentation of the opposition and drag more moderate and more loyal people to their leadership? It's also worth trying to make contact with the unofficial partisan leader, Ahmad Shah Massoud, but would he agree? In any case, we can just wait for the Mujahideen leaders to fight each other. What do you think about it, Mr. President? Uh, of course, we're going to negotiate with the opposition. This is the choice we must pick. Negotiate with the opposition. So yeah, all 100%, zero nostalgia. Shattered by contradictions, the opposition agreed to surrender its ideological leaders in exchange for an amnesty and legal return to Pakistan. As a result, Ahmad Shah and Buranuddin Rabani were extra extra extradited, whom the People's Court sentenced to death by hanging for the genocide of the Afghan people's and terrorist activities. The civilian country ended once. Civilian. Another sorry, guys. Another mistake. It, it actually mean, it means the the civil war ended once and for all. All the peoples of our country celebrate the un onset of peace on Afghan soil. So yeah, now it's officially finished. There's no more civil war in Afghanistan. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to liberalism. I didn't liberalize enough. What have I done? Not gonna get liberalism. So, as you can see, look at our standard of living. Almost 80. Thanks to our f the farms. Yeah, let's build more. Yeah, fortunately, we're not going to get liberalism. Let's do more. One, two. Increase the standard, standard of living. We're going to turn Afghanistan into a... Scandinavian social democracy. <laughs> yeah, November. Speech against nostalgia. Oh boy. Afghanistan full of farms. But genetically modified. <laughs> with corn. Another one. 90 standard of living. So yeah. <laughs> More. So yeah. This is the end. My friends. As you can see we're a... Social democracy. <laughs> We didn't went full liberal, unfortunately, liberal freedoms, because I forgot to liberalize a little bit more manually, but yeah. So yeah, Afghanistan as a liberal regime, but with the social democracy as the political system. So yeah, after you finish the game, you click the end. Uh, you can read this if you want. Stop the video and, re and read. 
But in order to get the achievement, I'm going to go to the special ending box of special results, and you get this text National Reconciliation Policy. The DRA government succeeded in negotiating with the moderate opposition. Part, sorry, the moderate part of the opposition, and after the completion of the supply of Pakistani weapons, the remaining radical Islamist opposition was defeated, and the government successfully entrenched throughout Afghanistan. In 1993, the first general presidential election was held, in which the current leader of the country successfully won. The situation in the country has finally stabilized. As fi sorry, has finally stabilized. A constitution was adopted that enshrined the dominant position of Islam and allowed the use of Sharia, and representatives of the clergy and Mujahideens also entered the new single government. The long-awaited pe long peace has come on Afghan soil. So yeah, and that is the end. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the National Reconciliation Policy Achievement. I have to go now, so... To you all, this is a, this is, was NPC Porking, playing as Afghanistan in nostalgia. Not an easy achievement to get. Even I had some difficulties. But yeah, that's about all, and I'll see you next time. Have, have a good one.